Hey Tubes, Blazer Project here. Well, first, before we start off today's project, I'd like to let you know Toolbox is now paid off, and I own it, which is a big plus, which means also I can have more money to spend on something else, but also I've got the jack, the adapter, to drop the tranny in the Blazer, which is going to be happening, and we're going to rebuild this sucker front to rear, new torque converter, everything when it comes time. But first things first on that is the body gets to be fixed. And on workhorse, I got two new tires for the front end. So that's that as far as the updates goes. Just got a rainstorm through the area. We needed the rain, so it's soaking wet. But today, we're converting that to propane, which is going to be a big help, especially considering how much charcoal I can burn through when I'm using it. So here's the setup we got going. And there is a serious reason why I built it this way. Now right here is the adapter you need, which you can get at Walmart or any other store, Ace, your home improvement store. It'll allow you to hook it up to the propane tank. This right here is a minimum. It's an adjustable propane regulator. And I'll put the link to what it goes to well who makes it and where you can get it from or I at least got it from down in the description which you need here's an, another adapter that goes from the th threads here to a larger th thread I believe it's 3 8 and half inch thread into their standard barbecue hose and so forth then it goes back into a what they call it a reducer but goes in from 3 8 to half inch this is all half inch pipe with a 3 8 thread but goes in here to a T this is your gas pressure gauge and it goes all the way up to a hundred sorry it's upside down down into this neck then the gas will flow to here and this is critical this right here is a shutoff valve that is specifically made for gas and if you use a regular valve like a regular ball valve for air pressure that's fine just know these I prefer using what it is made for and so forth that's a quick shut off if I ever need it then we have this pipe going into a cap which is going to have a number 40 drill bit drilled into it that's our jet size so let's get to work and along the way we'll see what happens so let's get to it okay got a punch from the toolbox this is critical looks like I gotta get a hole get this straightened out real fast number 40 drill bit in the drill Go easy, these things are not, are tiny. You want as dead center as possible. And we're through. Now these pieces are just your average standard plumbing pieces and so forth, so. You can probably get it in the focus of the camera. See the tiny hole right there is our jet size. So that is what the gas is going to come out of. Now, one thing I should mention is where I'm going to put it. Get you off the tripod over here on the forge. Now, distance really doesn't matter, but for me, I figure right here where the spot is is going to be perfect. It's about halfway, and also the duct, the hair dryer I use is right here. So it's going to have plenty of air volume going in through here and so forth and not directly back here. So that's where I'm going to put it. All right. Now let's get this all taped up. And oh, so one more thing. If you're using Teflon tape, you're signing your own, well, I don't want to say death warrant, but err on the side of caution. Get the proper stuff, people. There is actual yellow tape that is made for gas. We're using propane. It's a 
gas no matter what just get the proper stuff please I've seen other videos where people just use Teflon tape and so forth your choice just be careful this is the proper stuff now I'm gonna go through tape all these up get them tight and then we'll move on to getting the hole drilled in that and then we're going to weld our jet in there where did I put the damn thing ah, dang it there it is we're gonna weld this piece in to about right there that way it's facing straight down it's going to be in the airstream and the gas is going to go through get blown in and circulated in the forge and then it'll really get hot so let me get this all taped up and we'll get to it alright done taping now this is one thing I cannot stress more than enough we got our end that's down here but every single joint will be yellow taped which is proper for gas trust me the last thing you want is to have a gas leak and then it catch fire here here or someplace else and you gotta scramble to get it all get it well shut off and can cause you a royal problem but now let's get to the other part drilling this now the reason I'm using just a standard cap is so I can weld a good bead around it, get it down in there, and it'll be basically almost permanent. Now the hole's almost dead center, it really doesn't have to be dead on, just as center as you can get it. That's about as good as you get. So that's that. And everything. Oh, that's a new jack for the blaze above other than that I'm gonna drag out the drill bits get that drilled out and you'll see what I'm talking about okay we're done now this was a pain to do so if you do this step just be warned now as you can see drilled out burred out and did everything it's in there so gotta weld all the way around then this is not going anywhere so pretty much that's what the cap is for not only does it hold your jet size but it is going to be part of the intake tube as far as the airflow goes so I'm gonna to get to welding and we may be able to fire it up today I'm not too sure I'll see what happens alright we're finished now can't fire it up today get a good propane tank just this piece right here is bad so I've got to go get a new one and that's a trip back to Arc C so when I'm going to work I'll go stop by Ace and pick one up but you got the tank the adapter right here into your adjustable regulator then it comes out through the hose and into the pipe work now right here you want your gauge to where you can see it shut off valve simple and there's your jet the rest of the forge the air jar would be here and light it and go so pretty simple now other than that piece I'd like to fire it up today but I've got other chores to get caught up on and also looks like we're in for some more rain tonight so I better start packing it up but either way that's a pretty simple propane conversion I'll put the adjustable regulator down in the description of the video on how much it is and trust me it's well worth the money because then you can adjust it from there and get the PSI set and forget it so that's that so stay tuned for the other projects that get ready to happen and also I'm going to show you how to inflate deformed lawnmower tires on your own and also how I used to do it as well so 
stay tuned for that. But until next time, rate, subscribe, comment, and peace out for now. See you next time.